Hello pilots and ground crew, welcome back to my channel again. Well, have you ever wanted to know about BL Heli Configurator? Stay tuned. So, do you like the little intro? I'll it's another little intro I've made for sort of like uh, showing for helping new pilots. Leave comments if you like it. Leave comments if you hate it. Let me know. Anyhow, yeah, I've got a uh, few emails, few comments, I should say. Not emails, comments. Uh, from uh, bloke YouTube channel Long Ranger. Not to be mistaken with the uh, Hey Ho Tonto Way Lone Ranger. The Long... <laughs> The Long Ranger. Right, uh, he's a newish pilot and uh, he's building a quad with just about bloody everything on it. Right, barometers, the works, he wants everything on it. But uh, he's been having trouble with his uh, ESCs and uh, basically, because he's newish, he's, he's uncertain with BL Heli Configurator. So. I told him I'd do a quick video showing you how to use it and stuff like that. Now what I've done is I've left a link in the description, right? So you can go, click on it, go to GitHub, right? And if you look down the link in GitHub, you'll find BL Heli Configurator for your computer, right? Download it and you're off and running. But now let's just switch over to the screen server and uh, I'll plug a quad in and talk you through where. Uh, how to use the basics I'm not going to go through everything right there's no point because it'll confuse people all right but the basics of setting up your quad uh, setting up your quad setting up your ESCs and this works for single ESCs if you've got it plugged into your flight control board or four in one ESC whichever way you're doing it okay then uh, let's jump over to the screen server and jump onto a BL heli configurator Okay then pilots, right, when you open up uh, BL Heli Configurator, this is sort of like the home page, very similar to Betaflight or whatever, but uh, this is like the, the first page you'll see before you even plug your quad in, right? Uh, you can read the bits of information and stuff like that, but uh, this is the very first page you'll come to. Now, the guy, uh, Lone R Long, sorry, Long Ranger, Right, uh, he's told me he was using a Hack RC 20 amp SC. Well, as it happens, right, one of my quads, right, is running exactly the same ESC, right. So I've gone and got that, and I'm plugging that one in. So it, they'll be identical, buddy. Okay, mate. Right, at this point, when you get to this bit, plug in your quad to the co computer, basically. So plug your computer in, plug your quad into the. You know what I mean. Right. Now, a couple of people do this the opposite way around, but this is how I do it, right? So now my quad is now plugged into the computer, right? And I'll click connect. Right. Now you'll come to this point, right? Now this is where you need to plug a lipo into your quad. Make sure the props are off. Okay, so I'm just going to bend down and plug my lipo into the quad. Right, I plugged my lipo in. Right, then down on the bottom right, just click where it says read setup once your lipo is plugged in. And there you go. On the right hand side here, these are your ESCs. ESC 1, ESC 2, 3 and 4. Right. For now, I'm not going to go into this part where it says 1016 and 1016 on all of them. Right. Well, this one says 1012 and 1012. I don't want to start making this confusing, right? Because all the guy really needs to know at this point is how to flash his firmware. Right, so I'm keeping this as simple as... Oh, nearly missed my catchphrase then. Super simple, super basic. <laughs> all right, but what I will mention, all right, while we're here, if you've ever plugged in your quad for the first time and you've spun the motors up, 
but uh, the motors are spinning the wrong way let's say for instance motor one is spinning uh, clockwise instead of counterclockwise you would come in here and where this says normal you'd click reverse right or if it said reverse you'd click normal right like this one's normal that one's reverse that one's normal number four happens to be reverse and this is how you change the way your motors are spinning we all know the little trick about crossing over two wires when you're soldering them up but this way is much easier right all you would do is go from normal to reverse or reverse to normal right and then the motor will spin the opposite way around right i will say one more thing as well over on the left hand side here right you'll see low rpm power protection and that will for the first time be ticked i always untick it right because sometimes when you're doing massive punch outs right your low power your low rpm will drop and it could activate this and you're thinking the the, the ESCs are thinking there's a problem and stuff like that so i always take that off and I definitely, definitely do not use the brick on stop because uh, what that does is when you drop the throttle, it stops the motors instantly, right? as in breaks them, hence the name brake on stop. But if you have that turned off, as you stop the motors, the, the propellers sort of like spin to a stop. You know, you, I think you know what I mean, right? Okay then, getting back to flashing the ESCs, right? Down here you've got four boxes, right? Flash all, right set up and all like that. If you change anything over on the left, once you've changed it, then you click right setup, right? And that changes it. Okay. Right, now to flash your ESCs, right, you can flash one at a time, but that's pointless. If you're gonna flash them, flash them all. Alright, so I'll come here to flash all, even though I've already done these. Alright, because as you can see up there, 16.7, 16.7, and you'll know what that is in one second. Where it says G-H-20 or whatever it says, right, do not touch that. Leave that as it is. Your ESC has figured out what it needs to be and what your ESC setting is. Leave that alone. Alright. You select your version underneath, right? Obviously, just like flashing any firmware, you want the latest version. Now, I know I've already done it, but I'll do it again to show you. It doesn't take that long. And then you simply click flash. And it'll take you back to here. And you'll see there, right, ASC1 is flashing. Come on, hurry up. It's thinking, why are you doing this to me, George? I've already flashed. Now we have C2, and then 3 and 4 will flash. Yeah, I'm still here. I'm just waiting for it. Uh, sing a song, have a cup of coffee, whatever you want. But this is what will happen when you flash your ESCs. And done. And that that's it. It it's all done. Right? And that is as that's as simple as it is. Right? As simple as that. And there you go then, that's all there is to it. It really is simple. Just to uh, click the bottom where it says flash all. Right, and then uh, select the latest version of Flash, and it really is that simple. Okay then, uh, hope this helps you, uh, Long Ranger. Hi, oh, silver away. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Can't resist, mate, can't resist. Takes me back, I used to watch a Long Ranger when I was a kid. I digress. Anyhow, matey, uh, hope this helps, and uh, cheers.